the demand for services is just exponentially growing in the U.S. As technology changes and you know, the locksmiths of the world don't stay up with those technological changes, and we do. We're on the cutting edge of all security products in the U.S. Our, our, we have our own training and certification program. We're going to train every single one of your locksmiths. We're going to certify them as a TFL trained locksmith. So that, that allows you across the country to service national accounts and regional accounts. You know, there's over 3,000 concepts, franchise concepts out there today. So it's, it's very convoluted to really find out which ones are legitimate and which ones are a good fit for you. If you're looking for a business management driven, marketing and advertising in a very non-competitive space, TFL is something you probably want to look at. You know, in, in the Boston market, we own the B2B space in terms of professional locksmiths and security providers. That is what we plan on doing across the U.S. Who are our customers? Our customers aren't Mrs. Smith who locked, got locked out of her car or Mr. Jones who got locked out of his house. Our customers are the Costco's, the Starbucks, the Bank of America's of the world. They're national customers. They, are, they want a national provider for locksmithing. That's, that's the purpose here. That's what we're going to be providing. At the Flying Locksmiths, what we're looking for in a franchise partner, and we do say partner, uh, at the end of the day, we're only going to have about 125 to 150 TFL franchisees in the U.S. The reason behind that is we're looking for franchise partners that are looking to replace a minimum of $250,000 in annual income. This is a big upside opportunity. This isn't for the guy looking to replace 60 grand a year and get, you know, get his hands dirty and, and be a locksmith. That's not what we're looking for. We're looking for business management, uh, people who have what I like to call delusions of grandeur, meaning we really need to have you, you know, really grow the territory. So this is really marketing and advertising driven, and then operationally driven, supporting the locksmiths in the field from a customer service standpoint. Um, that's our primary focus. Those are the skill sets we're looking for. Um, you know, you look at opening other franchises, all the food franchises out there that average around, you know, three fifty, four, five hundred thousand dollars to invest in. Opening a TFL is about 150000 all in. The ROI, or item 19, quite magical, if I don't mind saying so. The last four years, we've averaged about a million four, 20% um, annualized growth, a million four in revenue, and cash flow about 450. And that's adjusted as a franchise unit. So um, if you're looking for that kind of upside, uh, you know, you're, we definitely want to talk. What, is the, uh, what does the market look like today? Well, this isn't your father's locksmith. We are not focused on residential customers. Do so we service them? Sure. You know, but it represents five, six, seven percent of our business. Ninety percent plus of our business is focused on B2B and really national and regional chains. The Starbucks of the world, the Costco's of the world, the Bank of America's of the world, the multi-unit operator that owns you know 15 Dunkin' Donuts in a market, those are really who we're targeting as customers. The beauty of that is these guys are looking to protect human resources and financial resources. So it's just, there's not this bidding war out there where they're, they're calling Billy's locksmith and Jimmy's locksmith and TFL. They're ready, willing, and able to pay for the services. What's the role of a franchise partner? Well, the day-to-day -day operation of the business is really focused on two things. Number one is obviously getting the, getting the work completed, getting it completed at a very high level of service. Number two is driving top-line revenue. That's really the primary focus of those two those two parts of our business. If you're able to operationally support your locksmiths in your market, your staff, and able to grow the business from a B2B side focused on commercial business, you're gonna, that's, a, that's, that's the menu for success. So why the TFL opportunity? Well, in my 20 years, 25 years of franchising, I've been very, very successful on, on the services side. I franchise restaurants too and other retail concepts. But really where I've been focused on, especially the last decade, has been service-based concepts. I've had great success franchising them. First one would be in 2005, I franchised a company called Home Care Assistance. 
home care assistance today, 10 years later, is a hundred plus million dollar company with over 100 franchisees operating in the US and Canada. In 2010, I franchised a company called Junk King in the recycling and, and, and junk removal space. Um, today, Junk King will do $40 million in 2015, five years later. Uh, about 75 franchisees operating in the US and Canada. 2015, five years again later, I'm launching TFL. TFL's in a perfect storm. It's a perfect storm for this concept to go to market. Again, we're only gonna sell 125 to 150 franchises. You know, some people don't wanna be, it's too early to be in a concept like this. And if it is, go be franchisee number 26,000 with somebody, that's great. You know, this is for really the people that have that entrepreneurial side. They see a big upside opportunity to be an early adopter and understand what the risk reward is associated with that. That's who we're looking for. So don't waste my time. I won't waste your time if, that, if you don't fit that, that, that view.